was when I was in seminary at Boston University School of Theology in uh, 1996. It was my third and last year before I was going to be ordained as a clergy member in the New England Conference. And that was going to be the year of General Conference in, in Denver in 96. And there was a campaign that year called Open the Doors, uh, which was one of the first uh, major really public media efforts of what was then called the Reconciling Congregation Program. Um, and I was just kind of your average liberal United Methodist Yankee. I, th I thought not, I don't consider my, didn't consider myself moderate then, but I think that I didn't realize what was really going on in the United Methodist Church. And I think that that's part of what's going on with a lot of folks. And those are the people I really want to speak to, people who consider themselves liberal and open-minded like I considered myself. Um, and, but just really didn't understand the level of hatred, the pervasive nature of homophobia in the United Methodist Church. And I started to get to know that because part of the Open Doors, Open the Doors campaign in 96 was the first time we tried to sign up reconciling United Methodists. And so I went to my seminary uh, co-students and faculty just asking them to sign this very simple statement which said, I commit to opening the doors of the United Methodist Church to all people regardless of sexual orientation. I don't even think it said gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, queer questioning, intersex or any of that. It was just sexual orientation. And, you know, people wouldn't sign it. Um, straight people who were concerned about their careers in ordination, faculty people who didn't want to cause waves in the seminary, and I was horrified that people wouldn't sign, which is something that was just so simple. And so I committed myself to going to General Conference in 1996. Then I became a local church pastor and realized still again how strongly that homophobia and hatred exists at the local church level too. I need to free myself um, as well as all the folks who are held captive by all forms of hatred, uh, but in particular in the reconciling movement of homophobia. And um, so I'm liberating myself um, from it's kind of a simple, a simple minded open mindedness that is just not actually real in the United Methodist Church. Um, so it's been about 15 years since then. I'm still working, still struggling. Um, know all the best people in the United Methodist Church because of this movement and uh, committed to being at General Conference in 2012 to continue the struggle.